Okay, let's get this video going. Hello guys, welcome. I hope you all are having a fantastic week. I hope that your weekend was good. I hope you all are having a fantastic week now. I hope your Monday was good. <laughs> so far, your week only consists of Monday. But anyways, um, I hope that your weekend was good. And welcome back to the road to 600. Um, some big things happened uh, in between the last video and this video. I know I should have uploaded on Saturday, but Saturday... Um, I was still grinding, I think, um, and Sunday, uh, yesterday, uh, some IRL things happened and I got busy. Um, but yeah, anyways, the video is going to be published tonight at the time of me recording this voiceover, so yeah. But anyways, let's get into the results of, I think it was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, uh, those were the days I really grinded and got some good rewards but yeah let's get into hour number one on thursday so first that hour number one was not too bad at all actually i was doing this on Asha, hence why my drops are as huge as they are so i made 174 million in this one hour got 3616 trash lead which is kind of meh uh, i should be pulling more but no, i don't know uh, 52 armor black stones, 14 weapon black stones, 23 ancient scrolls, one black magic crystal, and there goes my voice. I am sorry, I actually am a little bit sick right now, uh, but yeah, I'll try and continue on with the results. <laughs> uh, one black magic crystal, as I said, 17 Kafra stones. I actually got 800 necklace to drop as well, and six mass of pure magic. This is my second only Tangra necklace ever out of history so that was very nice it felt good to get it and yeah let's move on to our number two so thursday our number two and three were both at the star's end i don't know why but i just felt like disappointing myself tremendously so i went there no actually i felt really lucky so that is why i went to star's end but you know but surprised um yeah <laughs> star's end treated me very poorly i can't do it on Asha because there's you know 640 gs players running around i can't kill them i can if they stood still and you know went afk for like two hours but anyway so uh this is my worst hour yet at star's end um 78 million silver 3757 trash lit which is not bad i'm getting better at trash power at stars and i'm learning how to pull the mobs a little bit better and stuff like that on my line 19 armor black stones 27 weapon black stones zero black magic crystals zero black star crystals zero dust those 17 dust and five kafra stones and nine traces now once again kafra stones does seem to be nerfed at stars and i haven't been to stars and again since then uh, i've had some issues <laughs> with guilds at Star's End, so uh, I haven't been grinding there again. I've been taking a little bit of a break after this um, massive grind session that I did these couple of days. But yeah, so that is our two. Let's move on to our three real quick of Thursday, which is also Star's End, as I mentioned. And our number three is a little bit better than our two, but not by much at all. So 86 million, basically 87 million, really. That's so close to being that. Uh, two two no not, not two three thousand seven hundred and ninety nine trash loot which is once again better than my previous hour so like i said i'm getting better uh 27 armor black stones 21 weapon black stones two black magic crystals 12 dust five kafra stones once again and 14 traces so uh as i said i am getting better at getting the trash loot but it starts in it it hates me okay <laughs> And once again, the five Kafra stands, so I don't know, it, like I said, it seems like it's nerfed, but yeah. On to hour number four, which was the last hour I grinded on Thursday, and it was also the same spot I grinded on Friday morning, my first hour on Friday. So let's get into those results real quick as well. I went to Gratuga, and as per usual, Gratuga treated me really well. This is actually where I made up the majority of the remaining money that I need for my next upgrade. Um, so hour four on Thursday was Kutuga and I made 143 million silver in one hour, 4,948 trash loot, 18 armor black stones, 21 weapon black stones, four dust, not a very good place for dust, but 
the Kafra drops will, makes up for it a lot of times over. Uh, 14 Kafras, 16 um, Forbidden Books. I do think this was on Asha as well. Yes, it was. Okay, so I did this on Asha. 16 books, 2 Yonas, 6 maps, 2 Tangreds, and 2 Mass of Pure Magic. So, Kutuga on console, you can get away um, grinding there on low ish, not low ish, but you know, Arkman, Histra ish GS. Without being disturbed on Asha, you can grind there pretty well and uh, not worry about people trying to take your spot. But yeah, that is the end of Thursday. However, on Friday, I actually started off at Kutuga once again. So let's get into Friday's hour one result. Once again, as you can see, Kutuga really likes this for some reason. I made 134 million silver out of this one hour. 5,000 trash did actually, so I got a little bit more. Uh, 14 armor black stones, 13 weapon black stones, 5 dust, 19 gaffer stones, 18 books, 2 yonas once again, 6 maps, um, 1 layton, and 2 mass of pure magic. So, all in all, Gratuga, on average, I get at least one rare drop there an hour, uh, which is very good. Um, you know, at normal spots like Arkwin or History, you might get one drop every 3 hours. Uh, granted, I was on Asha, so that might, <coughs> excuse me, uh, affect it a little bit, but not in that much of a regard where I would say, you know, it's only Asha, because even if I don't farm on Asha, I get around about, on average, one drop per hour, so that's good. Uh, as I'm speaking to you guys right now, I am actually standing in Gratuga, uh, prepping for tomorrow when I'm going to start grinding again, uh, but yeah. So that is our number one on Friday then, and let's hop into our number two. To my very own surprise, our two was also on Gatuga, so I did actually three straight hours of Gatuga, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I like the spot, it treats me well. As you can see with the result, I made 175 million silver, uh, 4,943 trash loot, so a little bit less. I don't think I got an alert on this rotation or on this uh, one hour or something like that because um, my previous hour where I did over 5k I definitely got an alert that's how I got the Leighton of course and you get some extra trash loot from killing those mobs but anyways so 26 armor black stones 31 weapon black stones 4 dust 25 Kafra stones 34 books 3 Yonas 9 map pieces not pieces but 9 maps uh, two town grads and one mass of your magic and this is the reason why I like Kutuga I like grinding it I enjoy grinding Kutuga on Asha especially um, I do have some points invested into the node as well um, because you can get so much money out of it look don't get me wrong if you're not gonna get these drops you're not gonna get jacked at this squat in a way of money you know you're gonna get like 40 mil but it's consistent ray drops and that's the thing it is so good even whenever you look at a spot like star's end you have your very lows and star's end is still rng based of if you're gonna be getting huge amounts of money you know um history is a little bit lace uh, you can pull consistently more money at history i feel due to the fact that history does drop a lot of kafra stuns as well and scrolls etc etc but yeah um Kutuga is just it's an RNG spot, but the RNG is so good over here for me, especially. But yeah, so that is our two done of Friday. I need to uh, keep track of things here because uh, I'm tired, I'm sick, and this is a lot to cover. So on to our number three, which I do believe was at Star's End. <laughs> I kind of like to annoy myself while grinding these spots. So yeah, on to our number three. So the final hour on Friday, I went to Star's End and with one goal in mind was just to dump my aggress because I've been holding on to it for a very long time and the thing is I'm not doing a grind guide right now. It's not like I'm trying to show you guys what you can expect by grinding if this video does actually help you guys, uh, you know, get some information on what you can expect at grinding certain spots. I am very happy that it is informative to you in that sense. Uh, but. I'm gonna use Agros <laughs> when I feel like it, you know. 
So that is exactly what I did in this hour. As you can see with the results, and thankfully due to that, the, the fact that I did use Agris, I actually made some money out of it. So 163 million, uh, used 60k Agris, which is not too bad. I mean, you can spend it probably better at uh, Mirror, but Mirror doesn't have such a rare drop, which is worth so much money. So it's kind of up to your own preference, I guess. Uh, so 7,417 trash fleet, 46 armor black stones, 38 weapon black stones, 3 black magic crystals, 19 dust, 10 kafra stones, and 16 traces. So a lot better results in this one hour at Star's End. It's still kind of meh due to the fact that I didn't get any drop, but once my GS is high enough, once I do enough damage to, you know, not have to do full combos as I'm doing right now, on the mobs, um, you know, putting a consistent amount of maybe 5.8k trash loot, as well as in, then it will be worth it to farm there, even if you don't get any rare drops because of the fact that he's still getting a lot of trash. But yeah, on to Saturday, hour number one. Ah, uh, yes, I decided to start my Saturday morning with despair. However, luckily, I didn't despair because. This was actually a good Star Zane run for once. <laughs> so as you can see, I made 250 million silver in this one hour. Uh, 3,693 trash rates, so a little bit lower on the trash rate side. Uh, 35 armor black stones, 29 weapon black stones, 1 black magic crystal, 1 distortion, 1 distortion. Finally, a distortion dropped. I was having a very long dry run at Star's End with the distortions, but yeah. Um, 15 dust, 7 Kafra stones, and 22 traces. So, if Star's End is good, it's really damn good. <laughs> Actually, at the time of recording this, I finished a Star's End grind like a few hours ago, uh, where I got two dust to drop in one hour for me. So, that is another great, um, you know, great result. I didn't record it uh, because it's not going to go into your video. I'll explain at the end of the video why. But yeah, so our one on Saturday, we were starting strong and you'll see why. I was very dedicated to get this done on this day. Oh yeah, on to our number two. <laughs> so this seems to be a new habit for me now, is to rotate between Star's End and Gatuga. The real reason for it is I can't be bothered to go to Arkman. I got everything out of Arkman that I want. Uh, like legit everything. I have the compass piece, I don't need anything else from Arkman. Anything else I can actually get from Istria or Gratuga. But yeah, anyways, so Gratuga, hour number two on Saturday. Very good result. Once again, as always, 126 million, uh, 4755 trash loot, which is kind of the lower side, but also a warm up round on Gratuga. 29. Armor black stones, 19 weapon black stones, 7 dust, 12 Kafra stones, 15 books, 1 Yona, 6 travelers, maps, uh, I don't know what you could say, uh, map pieces, maps, uh, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter, 6 maps, 1 latent once again, and 5 mass per magic, and once again, I do believe this was actually on Asha, I only grind Kutuga on Asha, <laughs> but yeah, so very good result. Our number three on Saturday was actually at Gratuga as well. So let's hop into that result real quick and then we'll get to a different segment real quick and just explain to you guys what is happening in regards to that. But yeah, on to our number three, which is also the final hour that I grinded on Saturday. And this is why this was actually the last hour that I grinded because after this grind, I had enough money to buy myself a Tri Distortion Earring. So in this hour, I got extremely lucky. Um, normally, I would actually get one of these alcohols per hour. Um, I got two, as you can see. But let's go through the list as per usual. So I made 292 million silver in this one hour. 4,789. Wow, I struggled with that. Trash loot. 18 armor black stones, 21 weapon black stones, 1 dust, very bad, uh, 13 kafra stones, 17 books, 2 yonas, 6 maps, 1 tongue earring, and 2 alcars. That's absolutely ludicrous. 
Now, of course, Alcars, you need to keep in mind that you need to either buy Forest Fairies, which at that point in time is very expensive for some reason, that went up 10 times the usual price to 20 mil at top, where there were usually 2 mil, and you need to get um, magical fragments which you melt down black magic crystals to get them. So it isn't just, and you need a black magic crystal precision uh, for your weapon as well to make an alcohol crystal. Luckily I bought all the uh, materials, I actually went and farmed Renoros, I got one forest, forest fury to drop, so that cut down the cost a little bit. But I'll throw in the clip of me buying the, try this though real quick, and then I'll explain to you guys what the plan is for my Road to 600 further on. So just a very short clip, as you can see there I go. I go down because there was actually one on min price, so I locked out and as you can see, bloop, I buy it. I am ecstatic and the reason I bought it is because my RNG sucks, I blew up two duos trying to get a try on 100 fail stack and yeah. So I was actually busy doing uh, the books that I got from Katuga and there you go, there is the distro. Uh, took it into my inventory, immediately equipped it and there you go. So 265, I'm currently 269 AP. I lost a couple of cameras. Uh, re rolling back to my line and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get into, well, let's get back into the gameplay and I'll explain a few things real quick as the outro. Now, I know this video is a very long video compared to my others when it comes to Road to 600, but that's just because I had a lot of grinding that I needed to cover in this one video. So I just bought that. Earring, which is the equivalent to a Tate Tangred earring, of course, but with just the DP loss. So, the idea for me now is to get Kaffir Stones. I just heard my Discord go. That's not nice. Um, <laughs> whoever just bothered me, why? Anyways, so I need to get Kaffir Stones to get my DP up, and I need to get a little bit more money again so I can sell this. Try this though, because try this that will go up in price again. It's very low right now. It's gonna go back up in price, and I'll buy myself a Tet Tangra to not have that penalty. So that is the plan going forward. And once I've reached that point, of course, I'll document everything uh, from uh, won't be from Monday because that is when I'm recording this voiceover. It will be from Tuesday onward. I will be uh, recording my gameplay again and going for silver to get my gear score up. Now unfortunately there is one catch to this. To get 600 gear score I am going to need to tap a pen or buy a pen. So that is going to be the very big long grind but I hope that you guys will stick around for that journey. It's very fun and I really do appreciate you guys staying and watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you guys are enjoying the Road to 600, if it is good noise in the background for you, or if you just generally just like my content, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you guys will be notified when I do upload, since I do upload kind of sporadically, sometimes, <laughs> and yeah, I really do appreciate all of the support, I hope that you all have a fantastic day, fantastic night, I hope you sleep well. Uh, sleep, sleep is very important <laughs> and I hope that RNG is good to you. I'll catch you all again in the next video. Thank you all again and peace out.